so much. Well, it's still going to be a few days before we know who's going to be Struthers next mayor. This morning, the Mahoney County Board of Elections started counting 145 write-in ballots that were never counted election night. 27 First News reporter James Santelli talked with both candidates who are eagerly waiting those final numbers. This is a story about two men and numbers. On election night, Danny Thomas thought the numbers were not in his favor. But then the numbers showed something different. I got the call. And, you want my 72? I was like, okay, however that happened, thank you very much. Those numbers didn't make sense to current mayor Terry Stalker. We couldn't figure out how that could be because we went out and got all the numbers off of the polling precincts and did all the calculations. And then the following day, um, um, we notified the Board of Elections that um, we be believed that there was something wrong. On election night, there were ballots from two precincts that were counted. We knew there were 147 write-in votes, but what we didn't know was whose name was written in on that space. And that's important because Mayor Stalker was a write-in candidate. He had health issues earlier this year and didn't enter the race until after the primaries. So now in the general election, we have this box of ballots that was never opened. And a lot of the residents had contacted me and felt me, told me that they felt that um, they were disenfranchised, that their votes were not counted on election day. Those ballots were finally counted today. The result? Terry Stalker is now up by 73 votes. But I'd like to see how everything plays out before I um, start rejoicing a little bit, I would say. We were down, we were up, now we're down again. <laughs> I was like, what are you going to do? Well, here's what the Board of Elections will do. They'll count the 67 provisional ballots that are left. They'll likely declare Stalker the winner in Struthers. And they'll try to fix the problems for 2016. I've got no doubt that the staff is going to review what happened with this election and put whatever corrective measures in place might be helpful next time. At the Mahoning County Board of Elections, James Santelli, WKBN 27, First News.